Welcome to the air brake check portion of your pre-trip inspection. Your air brake check includes your cut in, your cut out, applied leak tests, low air alarm, pop out, recovery, and tug tests. As you take your tests, you will be observed by an examiner. You will be required to correctly perform the test and verbalize the parameters correctly of each test. How often are you practicing your air brake check on your own? You should be practicing daily, especially as your test date becomes closer. Failure to perform any of the air brake system's tests correctly will result in an automatic failure in your pre-trip inspection. During your test, you will be required to first tell us what check you will be conducting, tell us how you will be performing your check, be sure to state any pressure or PSI parameters such as minimums and maximums, and lastly, be sure to state your findings or the results of your check. Before beginning the test, remember to chop the tires. The first test I will be conducting is the cutting test. First I will need to make sure that my air tanks are full, indicated by the gauges. I will start the engine and if within range the air compressor will start and the tanks will begin to fill. Once the tanks are full, I will start my cutting test by depressing the brake pedal. The needles will drop slightly. I am waiting to see when the needles begin to rise. If the needles do not begin to rise after a few seconds, I will depress the brake pedal once again, causing the air compressor to cut in. When the needles begin to rise, I will note that pressure as my cutting pressure. State the exact pressure that the needles begin to rise. I should cut in no lower than 100 psi. You can use the fast idle or high idle or your foot throttle to make this process faster. I am watching to see when the needles stop moving. When the needles stop rising, this is my cutout pressure. I will verbalize this pressure to the examiner. The cutout pressure should not be more than 140 psi. The next test I'm performing is the applied leak test. For this test, I will be shutting off my engine. When the engine is completely off, I'm going to turn my ignition switch back on. This gives power to my gauges and alarms. If you haven't done so already, make sure that you chalk your tires. I'll release the parking brake to let the rig set against the chalk box. I'm going to depress the brake pedal and hold and watch the needles drop slightly. When the needles settle, I'm going to note the pressure and start my time of 60 seconds. In 60 seconds, I should not have a drop more than 3 psi. After 60 seconds is up, I'm going to state my pressure and findings, then release the brake pedal. The next check I will be performing is the low air alarm. I will start pumping my brakes to lower the pressure in my brake system. I am looking for a 
buzzer, as well as the light indicator on my dash to come on. The alarm should activate between 55 and 75 PSI. Next test I'm going to do is your pop out test. I will continue to pump the brakes and cover the brakes or maxis. I'm waiting for the brake button to pop out, which they just did. I will state the pressure it popped out at, and it should pop out between 20 and 45 psi. Next test I'll be conducting is the recovery test. I will start my engine and put on my fast idle. So mine's located right here on this rig. Sometimes they're loaded here. The test time begins when the secondary needle reaches 85 psi. It should not take longer than 45 seconds for the psi to rise from 85 to 100 psi. When both needles reach 100, the time stops. State how long the pressure took to rise from 85 to 100 psi. Last is the tug test. First, remove your truck box. Next, return to the cab and fasten your seatbelt. The parking brake should be set as a result of your pop-out test. Be sure the area in front and next to the apparatus is clear of obstacles and people. While shattering the brake pedal with your foot, place the apparatus into a low gear or drive and let the rig tug against the parking brake. The rig should not move or roll. Place the apparatus back into neutral and turn off the ignition. If performing this test on a manual transmission, first place apparatus into second gear or a low gear and slowly release clutch until tachometer begins to show a drop in RPMs. Then re-engage the clutch and take the apparatus out of gear and place back into neutral.